this was a requested video uh, regarding the sort of if you wanted to classify this in a genre in terms of exam P I guess this would be combinatorial probability I've mentioned this before I think this is one of the the harder concepts the harder types of questions to answer because there's not a formula to resort to right um, and let me just discuss that for a second if you read the question of course as usual five to a hundred times um, first thing you want to realize is that the different events um, each trial is not independent of the previous right they're not independent so I cannot resort to something like um, the first thing that comes to mind honestly is negative or sorry uh, geometric because I'm sort of thinking probability of success where success is getting um, a match but that's not gonna work remember geometric you need um, independent trial so that's not gonna work you don't have independence the only thing you could possibly do is hypergeometric because you don't need independence for that um, I haven't thought of a way to do it that way but um, if you do let me know so anyways here's the situation these are my socks so I have these are like my pairs right my the one pair these are pairs these are pairs pairs and pairs right and um, the question says um, find the probability of the maximum number of draws <coughs> whatever the hell that means that, that I mean well, hopefully you know what that means. Anyways, let me get right to it. I want n to be the number of draws until I get a match. Okay. Okay, so once I write down the possible values of my random variable n, it's discrete, of course, then you'll know which one is the maximum number, right? So what can n possibly be? Um, how many draws can, will I possibly need to get a match? Well, definitely can't get a match after one draw. But I can if I get two. I could also get three. I so could also get four. And I could also get five. Uh, could I get more than five? If you imagine, if I draw, if I draw five things, no matter how you pick it. I mean, say I draw this one. Say I draw one, two, three, four. So I get a different one each time. The fifth one has to be one of the previous, right? So it has to get a match. So the maximum I could get until I get a match is five. Think about that for a second, right? You can't, if you get six, I mean, six is too many, right? You're gonna get two matches, right, for six. All right, so my random variable can take on uh, the numbers <coughs> two through five. Now we're asked, what's the probability that we have the maximum number of draws? So the question is asking, what's the probability n is five? So I wanna know probability uh, n is equal to five. Um, I'm just going to actually go through, you may be kind of annoyed with this, but I'm actually going to go through uh, probability n is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And um, just to go through the argument with you, and also you'll see that, first of all, um, are these events disjoint? Okay, is the probability of n equals 2, can I get n equals 2 and n equals 3? No. So when I find the probability of each one, they should all add up to 1. All right, so... Uh, let's go ahead and do this. What's the probability n is 2? <coughs> Think about this for a second. What's the probability I need to draw two, I draw two socks and get a match? Okay, well it doesn't matter what I draw first. Let's say this is my first draw. Okay, if I want to get uh, a match on the second draw, then what's the probability I do that? Okay, well the first one doesn't matter, it's just sort of whatever is given. And then what? I have, well I have to get a 2, right? And how many choices do I have? 2 out of uh, looks like 2 out of 7. So this is 2 out of 7. I'm sorry, 1 out of 7. Right, because I want to get this 2, and there's 7 choices. I only have one choice that actually is a success there. Right, so 1 out of 7. What's the probability that n is equal to 3? It already gets a little more confusing here. <coughs> when you first do this argument, you might get 1 7 for this again, but that would be wrong. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So let's say again that my very first draw is a 2. Okay, I don't want to get a match on the second draw, which means I don't draw uh, a 2 after that. Let's say that I draw a 3. Okay, uh, so uh, what's the probability um, that I don't get a match? Okay, after, let's start over again. Okay, I draw 1, I get a 2. What's the probability I don't get a 2? Probability I don't get a 2 after that. Uh, is going to be 
Uh, well, I have seven left, and I have six choices, so six out of seven. Now, here's the part you have to be careful. Okay, so I made this draw. There are six out of seven choices. Let's say I get a three. The next one, I want actually to be right. I want actually to be right. I want it to be a match. Now, how could I match my third draw? My third draw needs to be a match, so what could it be? It could either be a two or a three. Okay, so I have two choices out of, how many do I have left? I have six. Okay, so two out of six. <coughs> so, this is two out of seven. All right, so it looks like we still have uh, four out of seven to account for. So now let's move on to n equals four. n equals four, so what's the probability n is four? So same type of argument here. Uh, now, let's just say I, I pick one. It doesn't matter where I pick one first, right? Pick whatever, get, that's my first draw. I get a two again. Now I don't want the next one to be a match, okay? So that means it's gonna be six out of seven again. Don't want the second one to be matched, six out of seven. What's the probability that the third one's not a match? Okay, well, um, that means, okay, uh, so second one, say I draw a three, and now the third one can't be a match, right? Third one can't be a match, that means it cannot be a two, and it cannot be a three. So it must be four out of six. So now there's four out of six, and now, <coughs> let's say that I draw four, uh, and now I want it to be a match. Let's say I want it to be matched now. What do I have? What are my options here? It's either a two, three, or a four out of five. So four out of five. So this is two, three, four. So sorry, three. Let's get confused with the numbers. Two, three, four, three out of five. So three out of five. Man, this gets confusing. This is why this is tricky. All right, so I have some cancellation. Six, six. Uh, these are gone, right? And now this looks like 12 out of 35. So this is 12 out of 35. <coughs> All right, so one more to go. And actually the last one's what we want, right? The last one's what we want. So probability that n is equal to five. Well, everything is gonna be the same except for this last one, right? And then the final draw, I have to get a match. If you think about it for a second, I have five picks and there's the fifth one, no matter what's gonna be a match, right? So same thing as before. So the first one I draw, say I get a two. Okay, so I get a two, no big deal. And then I don't want the next one to match, so that's six out of seven. And then I don't want the next one to match, so that's four out of six. Okay, so we just need to think about one other thing. One other thing. Um, so I draw a two first. I don't want to match, then I get a three. Okay, don't want that to match, then I get a four. Now I don't want the last one to match. So what do I have left here? Well, I have to draw one. And so I have two choices out of, so I can get either one of these out of uh, five, two out of five. And that's the complement of three fifths, so that makes sense. So this is two out of five. And the last one is gonna be a match from our, let's put a one there, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what does this equal? So cancel this stuff out, six, gone. Uh, this is eight out of 35. Eight out of 35. And just do um, <coughs> a quick sanity check. Uh, do these add to one? Uh, this is going to be three out of, uh, what's this, the, the LCD let's say is 35, right? So multiply this by, so this is five uh, plus 10 is 15 plus uh, 20. 15 plus 20 is 35. So these four add up to one and this is your answer. This is your answer right here. This is what they wanted. They want the probability n is five, so that's what we got. So probability uh, n equals five is equal to eight out of 35. All right, confusing stuff. I apologize, I didn't do the best job explaining that. It gets confusing. I maybe I should have labeled these something else like S1, S2, or but maybe just forget numbers. A, B, A, A, B, B, whatever. Let me know what you think. Uh, Comment on the video and please subscribe.